Hey guys, it's Jocelyn and Zaya watching The Path Forward. We're with Bethany from the bus stops here, and we're going to be touring the cyber bus. You ready? Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> Wi-Fi on wheels. Um, that's what Y Wow stands for. We didn't have enough money and we had a little van and it's not here right now, but it's a little van and that really was the catalyst because what we wanted to do in 2019, we're doing today. Sure, yeah. So actually, Jerome started the Bus Stops Here Foundation in 1997 while he was playing with the Pittsburgh Steelers, and he wanted to do something different. It wasn't just sports related. So his father actually was an engineer in the city of Detroit. So growing up, he kind of was around a little bit of technology and always interested in that. So he wanted to start his foundation by offering programming around computer science to inner city youth because it was something that he had been touched upon growing up, but didn't actually have access to. So his goal when he started the foundation was really to expose inner city youth to opportunities around computer science. You know, there is a lot of ways to help the community, but uh, I've always felt that education is the great equalizer. And, and if we can educate uh, our young people and, and give them uh, some of the resources that they may not have access to, then I think we're doing an, a tremendous service with this. Uh, it's just a start. Right, and I really believe that we can impact uh, a lot of people's lives, and so I'm looking forward to see, you know, people in the seats, getting that information uh, and learning, and it and it, it making a difference in the community. All right, you ready? Come on in. Here it is. So we kind of walk through the lay of it is we have uh, the mobile computer units in here. So we actually could set up for about eight at a time. So we have the, the building computers and then we also have laptop capabilities for everybody. And then in addition to this, we have the awning that you saw going off of it. So we can offer programming indoor as well as outdoor. So we can double the amount of people and students that can be on here at once. It also is a wheelchair wheelchair, I'm sorry, handicap accessibility. So we have the, the special unit here as well as an entry. If there's anybody that has a handicap that we can bring them on the bus as well. Over here, you can see we're gonna have snacks at any given time. So some of the kids or adults might be hungry, thirsty at any given point. So this will always be fully stocked. Okay. And then like we said six five to six days a week there's gonna be program programming offered on here for adults during the day where we're going to be working with like GED prep, mm -hmm. resume prep, financial literacy, digital literacy, and then in the evenings the after school programs are really going to start for the inner city youth and offering a lot of STEM education focused coursework. Okay. Honestly, yeah. I didn't know what I was expecting. I didn't expect Me either. This. I didn't expect this either. Really I nice. like the I floor. Like yeah. Isn't the floor yeah, cool? it's cool. And the setup and This everything. and then the lights change colors. So oh, we yeah. really wanted to make it like an experience mm -hmm. for everybody that comes on here yeah. where it's just not a blank slate. It's kind of fun and interactive on here, yeah. really engaging. And then obviously you can see the, the TV up there. So a lot of there's the coursework and instruction <laughs> could be on there. But also if there's a Steeler game playing, <laughs> yeah. you can always throw that up there as well too. Yeah. So there's going to be things going on at all times <laughs> on the cyber bus. This is a large community, uh, a diverse population with seniors and with uh, families and with immigrants. And so we want to make sure that everybody is well connected um, for school, for personal, for education, for jobs, whatever it may be. Um, and so we're bringing the cyber bus so that they can either get some instruction, they can do some STEM coding, they can do some gaming, they can do a wide range of things. We started out working and partnering with Jerome Bettis and the Bus Stops Here Foundation about two years ago. And we did an event at Stowe Rocks High School, which is one of the urban school districts in our community here in Western Pennsylvania. And we worked together to basically provide iPads and ThinkPads to the student body at the high school. That went really well, got us thinking, sort of led to the Mentorship Academy, which has gone beyond really well. And now, with sort of that track record, working together and things turning out in a good way, you're going to impact everybody from grade school kids that are going to be using the cyber bus to even seniors um, who are going to be able to utilize it when the kids are in school to access technology. So it checks all those boxes. When this opportunity popped up with the cyber bus, it was a no-brainer.